What's going on guys, Iggy Fresh here, back with a new GTA 5 video. Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be doing a new real life episode where we're going to be showcasing a ton of new mods guys. Today we're going to be delivering military equipment to a military installation base using this awesome rig over here. This is a Kenworth T700 everyone. Look at how huge this thing is. It's a beast. And we're going to be delivering these two vehicles right over here. I'm going to showcase everything in just a second. I do want to thank Ace Pilot 2 k 7 for the idea. He did a similar episode where he delivered construction equipment. That was pretty cool. Did enjoy watching him load construction equipment on the back of the trailer. That was very interesting to watch. Uh, anyways, also we're going to be using this humongous trailer. Look at how big this thing is. Now, in comparison, this is a regular trailer right over here. And look at how tiny this thing looks compared to this thing. This thing is insane. And let's zoom out a little bit. In comparison, it's it's crazy. And we're using that just so we can fit both of these vehicles onto the trailer. So really, really psyched about this episode. We do have a ramp right here to help us load both of these vehicles. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop on into the, uh, the Kenworth over there. We're going to back into this trailer and uh, load both of these vehicles. And I'm going to showcase you the weapons and uh, uh, this is an M2 Bradley over here. It's an infantry vehicle and it's armor. It's pretty awesome. It has a weapon and everything. It's very versatile. Uh, this vehicle over here is a fire truck for the military and it's pretty awesome it's got well I was gonna say four wheel steering but it's got eight wheel steering guys it's pretty sick I'm gonna demonstrate it uh, the sirens are actually pretty cool on this vehicle and uh, anyways enough of me talking let's go ahead and hop on in we're gonna go ahead and begin today's episode now you some of you guys may have seen me do another one of these uh, episodes where we transported police vehicles now the trailer was a lot a lot smaller this trailer is crazy huge and long and it's gonna be very tricky to maneuver this thing around town so hopefully it will try and stick to highways for the most part all right let me just uh, kind of see what I'm doing here this thing is <laughs> yeah this is definitely oversized for sure all right I think we're good. I think we're good. This will do. Let's go ahead and load these two vehicles. I'm going to demonstrate it really quick. Look at how... Are we flush over here? We're pretty flush. I mean, these are off-road vehicles, so we'll be fine. If this was like a Lambo, yeah, we would have probably bottomed out. Or, But whatever. We're good. We're good. Let's go ahead and... Which one should we load first? I'm thinking we'll load the, uh, the Bradley first. And then we'll load the fire truck because if we need some extra room, like the, the front of the truck could overhang from the trailer. So, anyways, let me go ahead and, uh, um, where's the entrance? The entrance is on this side. There we go. Let's climb on in. I haven't even tested the weapons on this thing, but we'll see how they operate. I'm probably going to scare everybody. Maybe this is part of the video where everybody goes crazy. <laughs> it's pretty cool it's pretty cool I like this yeah I think it only has one weapon to my knowledge anyways alright let's go ahead and load this thing frontwards and I'm thinking the fire truck we're gonna back into this thing so we'll do two different ways so let's go ahead and load this thing first oh <laughs> oh my gosh it's a little rocky this is very heavy oh my gosh all right, here we go. Let's jump out. Whew. That was tricky. This thing is really heavy, but look at how sick this looks. Whew. Military is going to be happy. Now, let's go ahead and demonstrate this vehicle. Now, this vehicle is pretty awesome. One of my favorites. Just installed it for the first time, and look at how sick this is. Look at those lights. 
and the sirens pretty cool as well and I don't know if it's a real military fire truck it could be it could be I think it might be uh, but it does have it's got a water cannon just in case we need to uh, take out some fire and look at that all eight wheels turn if we turn left or right look at that eight wheel steering guys it's pretty sick anyways we're gonna back into this uh, oh what the hell Whew. don't want to mess with the cops today <laughs> all right let me go ahead and back into the trailer hopefully this thing doesn't happen again let's see all all this equipment is super heavy uh, we're a little lopsided here let me go ahead and fix it with eight wheel steering <laughs> the steering is uh, so much easier hold on let me go all the way down we're gonna line ourselves up and just like that now this one is not as heavy as the Bradley appears to be look at that we almost have some room to spare we almost do but I think we're good I think we're good let's go ahead and unload this and uh, yeah we're pretty much secure look at how sick this looks oh my gosh now this is some crazy cargo over here I've never seen anything like this in real life or in the game but I am enjoying this I hope you guys are as well who's excited about this delivery how many of you guys think we're gonna make a successful delivery without hitting anything Whew. we're also gonna do a top speed run <laughs> with this truck I do realize that the semi is not meant for top speed not at all but just as a joke with all of this heavy cargo I'm gonna guess that this vehicle will probably do maybe it'll top out at 50 52 I'm gonna guess 52 miles per hour if you guys want to guess with me leave your guesses in the comment section down below curious to see what you guys think but anyways I think we're all set here let's go ahead and hop on in and try and deliver this all right guys so I think we are ready to go let's go and I'm I'm kind of a uh, let me see what kind of a route we're gonna take now the GPS is telling us to go through downtown and take all these hills which there's no way in hell this is possible uh, what I'm thinking about doing is we're gonna go on this highway and we're gonna go on this highway and then take this exit and circle back this way and get to the station here uh, so that's what we're gonna try and do today anyways and uh, let's go ahead and see if it's even possible maneuvering these uh, this trailer here oh my gosh we're gonna need to go extremely wide on every single corner to be able to avoid all the stop signs and traffic lights and everything like that where's exit over here dude <laughs> that's a weak horn for the semi super weak but all right and I'm super excited about doing e uh, the uh, the top speed run here <laughs> I'm not even sure if we'll be able to hit 52 miles per hour I'm not sure so far we're struggling we're going 36 37 oh my gosh and I'm gonna need to swing out wide and ooh, we just made it this is gonna be a tricky one guys oh my gosh are we gonna make it through here I'm not even sure hold on last minute we're gonna shift lanes this is gonna be the real test open up the gates well we're gonna need to take them down ourselves oh my gosh I don't even know if we're gonna make it here come on can we see look at that I think we're in Wow well if we just pass this we can pass through anything do you do you not see my trailer man all right I think we're good oh my gosh. we're gonna be we're gonna be taking like a couple of lanes here but okay all right I think we're this isn't really a highway I guess it is 
Uh, this is like a terminal road. What is it? Buccaneer Way? Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm topping out at 39 miles per hour. <laughs> this thing will go faster, I promise you. Absolutely. Once we get on the highway, we're gonna need to be uh we're gonna need to go a little bit faster than this. Whoa! Whoa, dude! Really? My gosh, I just started going. This guy just stops in the middle of the intersection. But anyways, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that I'm going to leave all of the links to these mods in the description down below if you guys want to download them and try them out yourselves. They're fun. They're fun. Yellow light. Can we make it? Oops, it's red. Whoops. <laughs> this dude just smashed into us. Oh my gosh. It's okay. We had one tiny incident, but... I think we're still fine. We're fine. But look at the view, though. Look at the view. Oh, I need to pay attention. This is uh, an oversized load, that's for sure. <laughs> the view looks pretty sick, though, I gotta say. I've never seen it in-game or in real life. Anybody hauling this cargo is pretty sick. You know, we're gonna blow by some of these red lights. I know some of you guys, Eggy, Eggy, why are you following traffic rules? Just, just blow through. And some of you guys are super, like, realistic. And you guys want to see realistic patrols and realistic episodes. So it's like, it's kind of tough trying to do a mixture of both. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's kind of tough to please everybody. If you guys try doing YouTube yourselves, you guys will find that out real quick. Real quick. <laughs> some people will hate you, some people will love you. It's uh, part of the game, I guess, but as long as you have a thick skin for it, you know, that's fine. That's fine. You can deal with the haters. It's cool. Um, so, I definitely want to see and encourage a lot of you guys to, to start your own channels because it's, it's a lot of fun. And just the interaction with the fans and you know things like that it's pretty cool pretty cool to uh, have a following and hear you guys what you guys want to see next and things like that I love interacting with you guys oh I I think the highway is coming up on the right hand side so we'll we'll stay in this lane uh, we're gonna need to enter the highway and hopefully the GPS will reroute us take a look is there anybody behind us yeah and it's cool nobody's hitting my trailer I love the semi though it's like so realistic GTA 5 does not have a more realistic semi like this one here all right let's go ahead and hop on the highway I got really close to that guy there I definitely want to take a wide turn here Because if not, bad things could happen. There we go. We're good. We're good. All right. So let's go ahead and see what the top speed's going to be. Now, we already know going uphill, this car or this car, this truck will never hit. Not probably not even 45. But um, going downhill, I think we can hit 52 miles per hour. I'm crawling. I'm actually slowing down guys. I just dropped from 37 to 35 down to 34. We're slowing down. This is absolutely like real life. We'll need to shift lanes here. Oh my gosh. All right, picking up again. 37 miles per hour. This is this is not easy. This is not easy, especially if we have people trying to cut us off get close to us Whew. man <laughs> this is badass though this is pretty badass I gotta say don't cut me off dude no no I am not slowing down <laughs> not today we're, we're going 43 43 and that's still going uphill so I think going downhill it's certainly possible to hit 52. 
again we're dropping our top speed just went down to 39 miles per hour we just can't win we can't win at all <laughs> my gosh I could almost run faster well not quite but maybe with some mods we can run faster than this all right the GPS is crazy it's telling me to do a u-turn there's no way I'm taking the next exit we're gonna go through Sandy Shores it's gonna be quiet there's gonna be a few tricky turns don't get me wrong we we didn't pick out a completely safe road it's safer but it's not completely safe but uh yeah <laughs> look at this look at this thing Woo. all right here comes the downhill can we hit 52 miles per hour right now doing 42 come on let's go 43 44 45 this is like slow motion no he upshifted the guy oh my gosh Franklin what are you doing upshifting at the worst possible time I think we were going to hit 50 miles per hour he's like nope puts it in higher gear and now we're crawling now you're gonna have to downshift we're going 30 and 31 and guys I'm I'm flooring it I'm flooring it like my my finger is completely we're going wide open throttle right now 42 well I guess we'll have to try and top this out somewhere else but we are definitely taking this exit now this this turn that's coming up is gonna be extremely difficult it's super hard we're gonna need to take this right lane absolutely there's no other way and is this guy turning yes let's go let's go let's go oh my gosh this is gonna be bad all these vehicles here hold on dude hold on move <laughs> we have a lot of torque so we can push them out of the way but if not for that truck we actually would have made it well we did all right all these people they love to ram us all right so we are on us route 68 we're gonna go this way it's gonna be a lot easier yeah but that turned out that's that's what I was really afraid of I wasn't sure if we were gonna make it but we had to get in the right turn lane for that to happen but let's see if we can top out this uh, semi on this road there's a few downhills here so maybe it'll work right now we're going 41 miles per hour let's see this is a slight downhill I think he's gonna upshift though that's the problem so far I think the top speed was like what 45 miles per hour <laughs> man that's really slow but our car goes super heavy so no doubt about that that Bradley's really heavy as soon as we got it on the trailer the, the whole trailer almost flipped so we know we got some heavy equipment here all right dude really you're gonna make me slow down this is a passing zone that would be funny if i actually passed them it would take us forever though so i'm not gonna do it and there's a ton of cars coming it would be fun though if we tried huh oh no nope we got an rv coming and then there's another car like there's no way to pass people here I hope he's gonna turn like that guy come on can we do this now yes yes we have an opening we have an opening and nobody coming <laughs> bye bye oh my gosh I can't believe I just actually passed somebody Man, what the hell is that? uh what the hell is this what the hell is going on over here we have a police shootout we have military as well that is pretty cool I am not joining the party come on you guys are blocking the road I can't even get around you 
There's a shootout with some kind of a gang or something. Can you guys please move your vehicles? Oh my gosh. Alright. Can I? Damn it. Show's over? Yeah, I'm trying to move. Alright, there we go. I just pushed the police vehicle out of the way. Oh, dude, you had a stop sign. Man. <laughs> this episode could not get any crazier. A random police shootout. Who would have thought? Alright. And uh, now I have to build my top speed all over again. We're going 31 miles per hour. I think there's going to be a downhill coming up. I really want to hit 52. I know it's possible. I know it is. But not with vehicles like this RV in front of me. Damn. Move, dude. <laughs> We're going to need to pass him. Absolutely. My gosh, he's crawling. I thought I was going slow. This guy's going like 20. We're going to pass him right now. Get off the road, buddy. Oh, no, 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 oh my gosh, all right, is that after me, oh, there's a cop, he might be pulling over somebody else, I don't have time for this, I have a delivery to make, all right, here we go, top speed, we have an open road, there's a vehicle up ahead, but I think we can do this, Come on, 40 miles per hour. <sighs> no freaking way. Hold on, there's gonna be a downhill right here. This is our only chance. 41, 42. Keep going, 43. I'm not touching the steering at all. I don't wanna drop any, oh, 42. We hit 43. Oh my gosh, wide open throttle. I think we're over here now. Yeah, this is it. This is where we're delivering all of this equipment here. They're going to be happy. Absolutely. And we're going to drop it off at the, uh, the training grounds on the right hand side. That's where we're dropping off the vehicles. And uh, so they can test them out and play around with them. But for right now, we're going to park right here. And uh, drop, off, drop off both of these vehicles. And it's going to be nice to test out how off-road worthy they are. I wonder if we can just drive off with this vehicle. It's got plenty of clearance. It's an off-road vehicle. I think it should be okay. And same with the uh, the Bradley over here. I think I think they I think they can do it. I think we can do this, guys. Go 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 go! Here we go! Oh, look at that! This is a crazy off-road capable vehicle. That was like nothing for it. Whew. My gosh, this vehicle is crazy. I love it. I love it. I want to drive it some more. I definitely do. But before we do that, let's go ahead and unload the Bradley. Uh, what the hell just happened? Bradley just launched into the air. Alright guys, so I had some issues unloading the Bradley. I don't know what the issue was, but... It kind of glitched out, but here we go. We got it off the trailer. Let's pretend that it worked. And uh, I think we're pretty much all set over here. I do want to drive this vehicle for a little bit, but our mission here is pretty much complete. Let's see how off-road worthy is this fire truck. Look at this. Oh, dude. It's got enough ground clearance to clear this, I think. Let's see. If we get some speed... I'm pretty sure this is possible. Oh my god! This is a beast. This is a beast and a half. I think if we get a little bit more speed, this is certainly possible. Man. Check this out. 
Ah. <laughs> and this is a big wall, don't get me wrong. Like, it's huge. Alright, this is it. We're, we're making this. We're absolutely doing this right now. Here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. And look at that steering. Pretty sick. Anyways, guys. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. I'm going to end it right here. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want to see more episodes like this one here. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.